Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Welcome to Woodtip. No treadzer hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Oops, uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants! On second thought, stop right there! You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Who's gonna make me, Shorty? Tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this island! Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? 
No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Oh, shut up. Hey, you started it. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hello? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Uh, don't shoot. I was just asking. Well, that's a dangerous question. I've been researching Big Whoop for years. There are a lot of people who'd like to get their hands on my files. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? Um, I really don't know much about it at all. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Go on, finish the story. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Wow, that's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. I'm sure they are. Uh, well, goodbye. Okie dokie. Hey, 
Where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. It's a pile of blank paper. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Largo's been here. Uh, oh, yuck. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Hey! Hired help only! There's no glass in the window. Nice. get that circus started? Do we know you?
I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Then what happened? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big whoop! Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. But when he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know... This leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Oh, isn't that cute? Hey, how old Pegbiter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies! One of my favorites!
Hmm. Only one guest. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. I don't want to pull it out of the water. It might be covered with jellyfish and swampy parasites. Just take a little. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Guy brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go.
Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. I can't dig that, Daddy. This is creepy feeling. I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up, or else. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now, where was it? Ah, here it comes.
doesn't seem to work. I think it's yo-yo string. Thing this is a cold soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How oh, gosh? We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. You brought me any more ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? 
Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. A man's room is his castle. Ooh! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... I... What? Ooh! I... I... That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks.
Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook, Young Lindy, the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers, the first mate, and Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They buried their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So... When are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. 
It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Alright. I'll come with you. Coming. Well, Mr... Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Look, I'm really in quite a rush. Oh, do stay a while. We have much to discuss. Such as why there's a ten-foot guard blocking the door? Such as your future, Mr. Threepwood, and that of the ghost pirate, LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no. LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? He doesn't scare me. Just tell me where I can find him. I rather think he'll find you, Mr. Threepwood. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, well, I'll be back to relieve you at 11. Hello, little doggy. Hello, little doggy. That doesn't seem to work. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. You doggy doggy. Here boy. There's a banana in here, and an organ. 
Hey, <laughs> tickles. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Twenty-eight black. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Easy money. Give me the next number. Please give me the password. If this is four, what's this? Three. Right. The winning number will be nine black. Thanks. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? Who are you and what are you doing back there? I'm Bruno, and that's none of your business. Get lost. You again? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is three, what's this? One? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is one, what's this? Two? That's two. One more. If this is two, what's this? Three? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 27 black. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Black. All right! You win again! Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. You can't win if you don't play. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 27 black. Okay. Here we go. Twenty-seven black. You're a winner, kid. 
Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. You can't win if you don't play. Easy money. Where do you want to go? The sign says the Booty Boutique, Mementos, Souvenirs, Artifacts. <laughs> I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Okie dokie. That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. It says beware of parrot. Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. Excellent choice! That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? Well, I can't afford that much. Too bad. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? Well, I can't afford that much. Too bad. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords. Some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. 
Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why. But the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone, or on reserve. Sorry. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. You look busy. I'll come back later. You have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. What a beautiful dress. Check it out. Cruises. Cruises. What are you looking at? Glass bottom boat. Check it out. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Do you give credit? <laughs> don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I'll come back later. Okay, I'll be here. Cruises! Glass bottom boat. Three hour tours. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? Son, it's always Mardi Gras on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island, but I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party. So, I quit. And now I watch out for the mail boat, which reminds me, I have to get back to work. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. 
Now I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist, but you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I guess you can go through. Have fun. Oh, what a cute little thing. Hey! What is all the racket? Don't mess with the governor's cans! Hey! Come back here! I'm not done yet! Who do you think you are? Oh! There you are! Anyway, like I was saying, you better just get out of here! No good punk. Huh. It says, Dear Booty Island Waste Disposal Service, Shh! Please don't bang garbage cans. Governor sleeping upstairs. I'm gonna sweat up 20 pounds in this stupid costume. It looks like part of the map to Big Whoop. Thanks. More subtle than most. All right, I got the first map piece. Yeah, thanks. No kidding, I forgot to put air holes in mine. So, where are all the chicks? Yeah, I thought there'd be some here. What's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> What's the matter there, Gabrush? <laughs> Nothing a big hug wouldn't cure. I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. It says it's cause he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. But he sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor, I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepwood? The one and only, Sugar Bear. Of all the parties in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, Honeycakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglepuss. Get lost. Punky Doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper Dooper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us. Together again. Boy, 
We haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, th I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. Life without you is an endless nightmare. Oh, really? I like what you've done with your hair. Same old guy brush. Have pity on my poor, broken soul. You're getting warmer. Is that a new blouse? Can't you take a hint? Real scorcher outside, huh? Sorry, Threep. I don't play those games anymore. Elaine, save me from this whirlpool of misery. Oh, Guybrush, I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you, but there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're gonna let me have the map? The map? Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about, You'd better go out and get it. Again, in these costumes, <laughs> who can tell? That's true. There might be some babes here. She's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. Maybe she won't miss this old thing. It's just a porcelain replica of a chest. I hate that knick-knacky junk. Hmm. Now what can we do about it? Well, we just ask. as you want. Filbert's out raking the back 40. What the? Hey! Dang wind! Come back here! Slippery little devil! Hold still! Hey! Well, shoot. I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. I'm gonna ditch this thing once and for all. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. <laughs> Where do you want to go?
This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Shh. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. This is a library. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Locks and locks. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Excuse me. Is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? Uh, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Do you have Great Shipwrecks of Our Century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find The Joy of Hex? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find locks and locks?
Okay, here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 35 North, 84 West. The Joy of Hex. I think it's meant for advanced voodoo practitioners. The writing's way too technical for me. Nice. Nice. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these isles. You? Why, you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. The fish you catch are so small you need tweezers to throw them back. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around and that is that. Not if your bait is as tiny as your brain. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Sure, I'll take your bet. Let me tell you what I had in mind first. If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Sounds fair. If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Rah! Ick. Exactly. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right, it's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> Um, think I'll drop a line right here. Plunk? Wow, I've got a nibble already. Holy cow, he's a monster! I've got him! <laughs> what a battle! Wow! This is the biggest... The... Uh, well, it, it's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Uh, uh... I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole.
Excuse me. Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. Idiots. Idiots. Fools. They can't keep me locked up. Who is this Peep Wind character anyway? Who is this Peep Wind character anyway? Hey! Uh-oh. I can explain, I- Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Hey, there's some near grog in here. It's empty. It says, trespassers not delivering foodstuffs will be persecuted. Aren't you supposed to be in jail? You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. Sleeping like a baby, a baby elephant. Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Commander Buttonhead. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Old skunk eye. Darg! Barney Gout. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Rap scallion. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Fester leech.
Where do you want to go? Big woodpeckers. Ouch! That really hurts! Ooh, wait a minute. Something very strange is going on here. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad? Mom! What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well... We're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh, okay. The arm bone's connected to the head bone. The head bone's connected to the rib bone. The rib bone's connected to the leg bone. Connected to the arm bone. The arm bone's connected to the head bone. Wow, they're good. The head bone's connected to the rib bone. The rib bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the leg bone. I gotta write this down. The leg bone's connected to the head bone. The head bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the rib bone. The hip bone's connected to the rib bone. Yikes! What is it? What's wrong? Why did you leave me again? Ooh! <laughs> well, Chuck, but I killed you! You didn't kill me, you little moron! I was already a ghost when you met me! You just destroyed my spiritual essence. A favor that I will now return. Wow, what a dream. Where do you want to go? Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Hmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. You're 
supposed to be cooking? I had to buy some eggs. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo Legrand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put them in all the drinks. Grog, please. I don't need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. It's a green drink in a broken glass. Where do you want to go? Three hour tours. Check it out. 
Glass bottom boat. Three hour tours. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? How much is that coffin? Well, it's complicated. Pricing here at Stan's works on a sliding scale, based on one's ability to pay, so as to make a decent funeral affordable to even our poorest customers. That's very considerate of you. So, how much dough do you have on you? I don't have much. I see. I think cremation might be more appropriate in this instance. I gotta go. See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Three hour tours. See the world. Cruises. Cruises. When the tears come, shouldn't you be prepared? Stan's previously owned coffins. Sunken galleons. Well, well, well. I knew you'd come back. My customers always do. Eventually. Could you show me that coffin again? Of course! Now this isn't just your average 60-gallon coffin. This has the full 75 gallons you need to avoid unsightly bone readjustments. Could you get in and show me how big it is again? Sure! I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. But it's open. It's just as roomy closed. Here, let me show you. Sure, sure, try out the lid operation. See? This thing's bigger than my kitchen. You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. I hear you knocking up there. That's solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lid's stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is closed on this thing? I seem to be stuck. Hello? Are you still out there? Hello? Check it out. Sightseeing. Okay, now, who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? I am, of course, Captain Lugi. The Loopster. Lugarama! Hawking the big ones for fame and fortune. Spit away! Come on, Captain Lugi! Let's go! Let's go! Misfire, misfire! Everybody run!
Gee, that's too bad, Captain. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. In fact, they do it very well. Come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. False alarm. As I was saying, just put your two lips together and blow. Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight. Come on, let's expectorate. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Everybody already has the necessary equipment. Oh, me, me. Uh -uh. Captain Loogie is in the house. Spit away. What's this? A surprise turnaround in performance? Looks like second place. I think that deserves a little applause. Too bad there are only prizes for first place. Better luck next time. Now, how about the rest of you? Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige winning skill. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Don't let this grass wither up and die. Oh, me, me. Uh -uh. Captain Loogie is in the house. Pooey. He's cleared first place. That was truly awe-inspiring. Sports fans, we've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. I salute you, Captain Loogie. Come on. Let's give him a hand. Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. So how about it, gang? What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? Thousands will spit. Hundreds will win. Sunken galleons. Sightseeing. See the world. I have to go now. How much will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? That's not just any lump of pus. Oh yeah? What's so special about it? The spit of the person who killed LeChuck is on it. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 35 North, 84 West. Three hour tours. Glass bottom boat. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, I'm hot to find the wreck of the mad monkey. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. Well, here we are. What now? 
I'll dive in and look for the sunken galleon. I got the monkey head! Well, let's head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Check it out! Three-hour tours. think anyone would ever get the Mad Monkey's figurehead. Can I get the map piece now? Sure! It's yours! All right! I got the first map piece! Thing. It's already in use. Hmm, I think I get the idea. Nice. Uh, no way. He looks like he bites. It's crazy, but it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. Yeah, now I got two map sections.
Where do you want to go? Once again. Ah, LeChuck, sir. I just wanted to report that we have finished building the new torture chamber you requested. Very good. Do you have anything else to report? Ah, uh, no. Well, there is one other small little thing. I assume this has to do with Guybrush's capture? Well, sort of. You've allowed him to find the second map piece, haven't you? You fool! You ought to ready your ship and sail after him yourself. Find him, or die! doing in a pirate game. It's a grotesque monkey statue. It's a grotesque monkey statue. Yes! What do you want? I'm looking for a map. I knew it. Look, kid. I'm sick of you would-be treasure hunters coming over here. I just inherited this house two months ago, and every single day, all I've heard is rap tap tap, do you have a treasure here? Why can't you people just go away and leave a retired pirate in peace? All I want to do is come in for a minute. No. I won't touch anything. I said no. Please. Leave me alone. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So, you want a sword fight, do you? Sword fighting's for wimps, weenies, and sissies. Giving up so easily? Wow, this game's a cinch. I have a better way to solve a dispute. Real pirates solve their differences with a drinking contest. Drinking contest? Come on in. I'll get us set up. This is my special grog. It's just for contests. Twice the alcohol, twice the calories. I hate having to waste it. Here's your drink. From what I'm told, nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. But you... You're persistent. 
It'll get you places in life, boy. All gone. But it won't get you into my house. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No, thanks. I'm a pro. You drink first. Oh, you already drank yours. That was fast. Take mine. I'll go get more. There's a special drink that I like. It's sharper than a forked tongue. But it's stronger than a mule team. Used to drink it all that time. Then my supply ran out, and my girlfriend went with it. That was when I took up rum. All gone. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No, thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. Oh, you already drank yours. That was fast. Take mine. I'll go get more. I used to like this drink when I was younger. Tastes just like chicken. But it's got a wonderful aroma. Never could get enough of that stuff. Then there was a shortage of it a few years ago. All gone. But I needed something else. So I drank rum. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No, thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. <sighs> now it's your turn. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to be a peeping Tom. Ah, it's stuck. Makes three map pieces, only one to go. Where do you want to go? Deep within the Chuck's fortress, blah, 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 blah. Largo. Yeah. You called for me? Is it true that Guybrush Threepwood has found the third piece of the map to Big Whoop? Ah, yes, sir. I was about. 
Why did you not come and tell me yourself? Well, I was trying to confirm that he really... Largo, you have been my trusted henchman for many years. But I won't hesitate to drag your entrails from behind my ship if you do not bring me Guybrush before he finds that treasure! It's inscribed with a quote, happiness is a warm manatee. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Famous pirate quotations, happiness is a warm manatee. Commander Buttonhead, kiss me, I've got scurvy. Old skunk eye. Darn! Barney Gout, violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Wrap scallion. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Fester leech. Darn! Violets are blue. Roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Hmm. Silty. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Hey, that's just a display model. I've got the real stuff back here. That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. I have the ashes of somebody I'd like resurrected right here. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, just a dabble do ya.
That was a close one. If I didn't have my flame-resistant apron on, I would have been killed. You were killed, Rap. What? You're deader than dirt. I'm dead? Cold as leftover pork chops. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Pass along your part of the map to Big Whoop? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. It's stuck shut with old grease and pork fat. Yeah. They're empty, but mm, I can still smell the pickles. Well? You were right. The gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth. Like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. 
Largo Legrand will never bother you again. Yeah, I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I hope I didn't lose it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Hey, I did it! Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. How am I supposed to work? Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Dang. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. What's this? A map? Hmm. Looks like only part of a map. I've got the rest of it right here. Hmm. Very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you'll run an errand for me. Go to the International House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Okay. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Wally sent me to pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. Wouldn't want that little guy getting hurt. Wait, I just felt a sudden disturbance in the force. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear, and then hastily scratched a message in a table. I think Wally's in trouble, and I think LeChuck has something to do with it. Uh-oh. I better go check. Where'd he go? Someone's hastily scratched a message here. It just says... LeChuck. Oh no! LeChuck's kidnapped the cartographer! The poor little guy. Hey! He has my map!
think there's something moving in here. Hey, Rich! I sure could use a hand with this one. Uh, looks like another box of live snakes. Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck. In the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, LeChuck. Ah, the Chuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far, and... You guys bucking for a tip? Well, we figured since... Well, you figured wrong. The Chuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. Dick, I hate snakes. Guy Brush Threepwood. You have finally been caught. I have searched every island, sailed every sea, and now you are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? Mm. Largo. Yes, sir, LeChuck, sir. Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir. <laughs> you be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me. Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm... It is what is about to happen to you. Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, 
finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. <laughs> uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um, well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> Any questions? Gee, I had a million questions a second ago. Think fast. Your time is almost up. Isn't it dangerous to leave a pit of acid uncovered? Safety is not my concern in this situation. Why didn't you just shoot me when I came in? I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. He didn't say wh what he was going to do to me. Uh, an ottoman comes to mind. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Pooey! Hey, watch it with the spit. in here. Largo, relight the candle. <gasps> Guybrush has escaped. Find them. Ha! Huh. I bet LeChuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. There's some stuff in here. I think that these are matches. And this thing feels like a bomb. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Hours later... <laughs> Welcome to Dinky Island, home of the treasure of Big Whoop. Holly wants a cracker! Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure! Oh, the heck with it! Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces! He's meditating. Seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. Oh, the heck with it! It's empty. Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. Hey, there's a cracker in here.
It's instant low sodium cracker mix. Just add water. Dynamite, just like it says on the side. Oh, the heck with it! Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces! Okay, let's go over it again so no one forgets where we buried the treasure! Head north from the dinosaur to the pile of rocks! Head due east from the pond to the dinosaur! I've hit cement! That's the last match. Great Scott! That came from the direction of Dinky Island! That idiot must be messing with my grandfather's treasure! Ugh, oh, I'd better get over there. There, I think that'll hold. <laughs> and you showed up about three days later. Will you help me now? Anything to shut you up. Has to have been the longest story I ever heard. <laughs> oh dear. Brush. Hello, LeChuck. You won't escape me this time. Oh? Why do you say that? Even if you were to escape, I would always be able to find you again. We are bound to one another. Like soup and salad? 
Not really. More like... Brothers. Huh? I am your brother. No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! No! And I brought a little surprise for you. Really? A treat? A treat for me. A surprise for you. Say, that wouldn't happen to be a voodoo doll, would it? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, it is a voodoo doll, which I'll be using to torture you. And then, send you screaming to another dimension, one of infinite pain. Observe. Ah! Are you quite finished? No, I want to do this. Wow! Ah, ah, oh. That was exhilarating. Let's have some more fun, shall we? <laughs> oh, please, no more. Okay, time to send you screaming to a dimension of infinite pain. At last, I'm rid of that pesky little wimp Guybrush. Ah, hey, I'm alive. Hey! I thought I was a goner. Oops. Strange. There must be something wrong with my voodoo doll. It was supposed to send you to another dimension, not the next room. Huh, <laughs> shoddy materials, I'll bet. Well, I guess I'll just try it again. Uh, no. That's okay. I... Holy cow, these are my parents! Now you're gonna get it! Hmm, this looks loose. Hold on! There's no need for violence! It's nailed shut. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time. Let's not be hasty. Uh, can't we talk this over? Eyebrush, it's voodoo time! Uh, can't we talk this over? Um... Now you're gonna get it. There's no need for violence. Uh, let me explain. Oh, there's stuff in it. It's a pair of surgical gloves. It's empty.
Where am I going to put a drawer? There's a syringe in here. Nailed shut. It's empty. It's most likely full of technological wonders. It's stuck. It's stuck. I bet it has all sorts of powerful voodoo supplies inside. It's nailed shut. It looks like it's been here a long time. You're gonna get it. Wait a second. Wait, hold on. gonna get it. There's only one balloon in here. There's loads of root beer in here. One bottle of root beer should be sufficient. It's full of dolls. I don't want to carry around a whole box of dolls. I'll just take one. be a pretty small railroad.
a veritable fortune. Eh, it's out of order. It's a buffalo head! What a find! Ugh. Aha! Caught Let bygones be bygones. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time! Uh, here, try this. Now, isn't that better? Let's not be hasty. You're gonna get it. Um, um. Brush, it's voodoo time. Ow, 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 ow. This is hauntingly familiar. Voodoo ingredients. Well, that's one ingredient and the doll. That's two ingredients and the doll. That's three ingredients and the doll. Hey, brother, watch out, because I've got my own doll now. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time! That's pretty good, Guybrush, but not good enough to stop me! Uh, 
I don't think the truck's close enough for it to do anything. Hey? Oh, it's you. What, that again? Ooh, look at me quaking in me booties. I laugh at you and your puny voodoo tinkerings. Aha! You think you're so big. You think you're so big. I wonder what would happen if I tore the leg off this thing. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Guybrush! <laughs> what? Come over here. No way. I'm not that stupid. But I want you to... <clears throat> take my mask off. Uh, see the true face of your brother. Oh, all right. I'm coming over. Gently now. Remove my... <gasps> Mask. My god, you're my creepy brother Chucky. What? Did you think I was kidding before? Why have you been chasing me all over the place? Our mother told me to hunt you down. When our mother told you to hunt me down, did she actually mention killing me, or was that your idea? Look, Guybrush, could you help me out? Stick the leg back on the doll, okay? Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids! You're not supposed to be in here. Ah, so there you are. What's going on? We're scolding you for running off. Your mother and I were very concerned. Thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked, Chucky dear. You boys didn't get in any trouble now, did you? No, no sir. sir. Good. I wish you wouldn't run off like that, young man. We were worried sick. You don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Of course, dear. But please be careful. Well, come on then. Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. Yeah. <laughs>